Hello everyone, welcome back to the BI Research Lab. We are very happy to have you here. Today we are going to talk about a very impactful game in the VR industry. This game is Beat Saber. Maybe you already know it. It's a game that involves music, dancing and swinging a saber. So come with us to know more about it. This game was created by Jan Zlapski, Vladimir Hrinkar, Jaroslav Beck, and Peter Hrinkar for Beat Games, previously known as Hyperbolic Magnetism. It was originally intended for Microsoft Windows and PlayStation 4, but now it's available for HTC Vive, PlayStation VR, and Oculus Rift, among other VR headsets. It was just released on May 2018. Jan and Vladimir, the two programmers of the game, are from the Sex Republic. These guys have been working together since high school and luckily came up with the idea of making a game for VR. They created a demo that was seen by Jaroslav Beck, another sex music composer that encouraged Jan and Vladimir to finish the game and to collaborate with him. Beck thinks that one of the things that made this game so popular is that the two programmers weren't expecting for it to be a big hit, so they were just experimenting and having fun while creating it. And because they had the music copyright, they ensured that the YouTubers were able to publish their videos playing the game, gaining free publicity. To create Beat Saber, developers were inspired in mobile platform games and color switching games, so they mixed these concepts and it made it a very very fun game. For example, in this game, what's most important is the soundtrack, the music that you dance and play to. So, the soundtrack can change all the mood of the game and can motivate you to keep uh, playing further. So, for example, in Beat Saber, one of the main concepts is that you dance and, and, and use your saber to cross to the boxes, but with some specific songs that have been uh, used because they, they have very good moves and you can enjoy them a lot. But, for example, you can also use some of your own songs, so that makes it more interesting and it, it improves the way that people can interact with the game. For a video game developer, it's vital to have a great soundtrack that creates an atmosphere of the game to captivate the player. The beat and music is really important because it sets the tone of the game. You can tell if it's gonna be scary, if it's educational, even what age it's happening, creating a more immersive experience than a movie. There are other games that are very conscious of this concept and use music as a main tool for entertainment. Just like Guitar Hero, Audio Shield, Audio Surf, Just Dance. All of them give a different experience to the user by using music so you can follow up the rhythm of the game and play along with, with this. As I mentioned earlier, Gerald Lovebeck is the author of many of the songs from the game and recently announced that he was stepping back from his position on the company to focus more on creating new music content for Beat Saber, keeping the players interested. The game hasn't reached its full potential yet, so it's a possibility that Beat Saber will still have some changes and improvements in the future. Meanwhile, they're talking about the possibility of creating arcade machines that will make possible for the people in Asia who doesn't have access to VR to play Beat Saber. At Fuse, we really like to play Beat Saber. Our teammates play out very well, dancing and improving by going through the hardest levels. We have been experimenting with the recording of mixed reality videos such as this, where we stand in perspective of a virtual camera to showcase the gameplay in a third person view. This kind of virtual display has drawn lots of attention worldwide in YouTube videos as the player love to see their movements interact in space so people beside them can see the full flashing experience and combos that they are achieving. Thanks a lot for keeping with us. So we're very happy that you saw this video. So we want to know more about what you think about Beat Saber. Do you think that this game is going to evolve into something else? That more games are going to use these techniques? So please let us know in the comments what do you, what do you think about Beat Saber and the evolution of the VR industry games. 
uh, please subscribe and please also be aware that we'll be uploading more videos in the next following weeks. So please stay with us and continue with the VR Chef's Live. Thank you.